Hey guys, welcome back to part four and the conclusion of our art tutorial where we take you from a sketch to a finished and completed piece of artwork like this right here. Anyway, if you're new to our channel, I'm Bill Kennedy of W. Leon Artistry and our channel is all about teaching you how to create better and more explosive artworks. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials, there's one, two, and three of this eye tutorial for earlier. And you can find them all on a playlist called eye tutorial on my page. And you can catch up with what's going on. I'm going to do a recap on this. Anyway, we're going to get to work. Now keep you guys waiting. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So I am going to freehand in my eyelashes. And... You know, if you're not capable of doing that, remember you can always use split tape, split friskets, uh, make a shield. I've got some other tutorials about how to do that. I want you to pay attention to the way I'm doing these eyelashes. On the end, those eyelashes are long and fairly crisp. In the middle, notice how they're just, I'm allowing them to be blurry and out of focus. And that's because those eyelashes are directly in front of you. I also want you to pay attention to the direction of those eyelashes in different locations on that outside edge they blow out they move out to the outside edge and curve out it's important that when you do your eyelashes that you keep them not uniform at all um, they would come out from various distance and heights away from the eye the one thing they do not do is come from inside the eyelid where the eyelid rolls over and protrudes out from the eyeball they do not come out from that area and a lot of people make the mistake of doing that bringing the eyelashes in closer to the eyeball than what they should be I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my micron now I finally have reached the point where I decided to just be easier um, checking my reference there once again as I talked about how much how nice it is to have tracing paper so that you can always check your references don't click off just yet because um, there are going to be some things where I you know do some shading that's going to actually make a huge impact in the end so going to continue on with my eyelashes notice how I will take and clump them together at the base and there'll be a lot of overlap those those eyelashes should crisscross then I want to bring in the bottom ones here uh, your bottom eyelashes, obviously, there's a lot less to your bottom eyelashes than there is to the top. The top are thicker and fuller together, especially on women where they have put makeup on them. And again, I want you to pay attention to how I am varying widths, how I'm varying the location it comes out from, and where it starts from. You could take this effect just a little bit further by creating a little highlight right where the base of the follicle comes out of the skin, although I don't think that's really necessary in this case. Those eyelashes are very, very small as you get to the inside, um, and then they blend out. As a matter of fact, you'll probably have some eyelashes that are white in there in some cases. I do not know. You know, it depends. Again, as you can see, I make some of those eyelashes a little bit fuzzy, and that's intentional, and some of those eyelashes are a little bit crisper. Notice how they crisscross over each other, and they're not uniform whatsoever. They're, they're going to be random. You have to create some randomness in there to create that look of realism. If you make them all the same and coming from the same height off the picture, that's going to create a very unnatural appearance. The mix I used here is uh, red, violet, and black. So it's a very, very, very dark violet that appears black, but still has some of that warmth, which is what keeps it from looking bad next to skin tones. True black looks very, very bad next to skin tones. It's just it's an unnatural look. There is no true blacks. And once I get all these eyelashes in, I'm going to take this same mix, this slightly warm mix, and I'm going to use it for some shading. Where I put those, see how I'm shading in underneath there? I'm also adding some little dots, which is going to create that clumping look effect from the makeup on the bottom. And then I'm crisping a line across there, 
which just kind of ties everything together gently. I'm going to take this mix and put some shading and work on that crease a little bit, a little touch up. I'm going to take that same mix and I'm going to use it to do some shading on the eyeball and create the final definition on that eyeball, which is just, it's that little bitty extra that makes a difference between that looks good to wow, that looks really good. Hopefully you can see that. I, I could do a speed lapse on that. It might show how much the, how dramatic that difference is all at once. And you'll see I pulled out my eraser to touch up some spots. Go back and hitting the eyebrow, eyebrows up there. And we are just doing the final little touches and cleanup. Wherever I need going through checking each and every individual piece building the base of that eyelashes to make it appear thicker and flush and more flush and then see how I blended that out just a little bit to create a little bit of illusion of drop shadow and um, blur out of focus blur Using that same mix, obviously, go back and darken up my pupil, and these are these are the cleanup stages. And you'll see here in just a second how I do my final blend out for that eye for the sh shading that would come off the eye, and the difference that that makes. That just little bit of paint makes that difference, and how that darkens in that top lid. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I hope you got something out of these four tutorials. And anyway, if you haven't, don't forget, subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. We're going to constantly be having more tutorials coming out. Anyway, y'all have a great day. We appreciate you. Bye.